Hello everyone. Today we have Mr. Shubham Gupta with us, and I know I think most of our viewers, most of people who are watching this video, have already uh, have known uh, or do know who Shubham Gupta already is. So I he has been my student in the year 2021, and after preparing for GATE 2021, he has secured All India Rank One. So after securing the first rank in GATE 2021, Shubham Gupta has been doing his masters in Geoinformatics at IIT Bombay. So in this video, we will get to know the details of this particular course. And uh, even before I start with this discussion, Shubham Gupta, I would like to congratulate you that you got recently placed in an MNC with a very good package of 50 plus LPA. So that is very encouraging for students from architecture background who are looking for uh, software oriented uh, or say jobs with which are good paying and MNC based jobs. So that will be a huge. So that, this is all uh, this video, this interaction is all about that. We'll get to know what is this particular course which helped Shubham, Shubham Gupta kick off his career with a wonderful uh, beginning. So uh, Shubham, let me start by asking the first question. Uh, for, uh, how is your college? You, you're at IIT Bombay and, and I know that you're almost uh, to be complete. So you're about to complete your course at IIT Bombay. I think probably a couple of months left out. So how is the college? How is the life at IIT Bombay? And how are the opportunities, facilities at IIT Bombay? Uh, you know, so the best thing about being in IIT Bombay is that the peer circle here is the best. And we study among the best of the uh, students in the country. And uh, all of them are good at one or other skills. And it's, it's not only about the scholastic aspect, the post scholastic aspect here is also extremely wonderful. And uh, we have exposure to wide variety of resources, be it any kind of research article or an extensive library or be it a co uh, co curricular activities uh, like Olympic size swimming. Uh, thing is uh, provide to the students so that they could even develop and uh, grow in uh, any area of their interest. So being in IIT Bombay is definitely a plus. And one of the aspects that I like about being in this college is that we have no restrictions. Like we could uh, study any of the subjects that we want to study. For example, if I'm pursuing masters in a particular engineering course, and if I want to study history also, so we have freedom to choose our subjects and there is no bound to us that you need to study only these subjects. So this is also one of the plus uh, of plus points of being in IT Bombay. Okay, so it is good from every aspect, starting from infrastructure, the crowd who you have, the peer group you have over there, the coursework. So everything is something which is an advantageous thing at IIT Bombay, at IIT particularly, IIT Bombay in your case. So yeah, that's nice to know. Uh, the second question I would like to know about the course. So after getting the first rank in GATE 2021, what was your thought process regarding course selection uh, and how did you shortlist and select this particular course for your masters? Uh, so sir, it was a very difficult process to be very honest. Reason being because after getting a rank, the real process starts in selecting a particular course for you. Because uh, the main thing that I focused was on doing the SWOT analysis that we do. Because like uh, I analyzed that my strengths are basically all the numericals or the quantitative aspects, all the engineering aspects of architecture were my strengths. Like be it during the preparation of gate only, all the structure concepts or be it all the numerical aspects, I used to uh, learn them or used to uh, understand them very easily. So they used to be my strengths. And I'm not saying that my weakness was creativity, but if I compare both of them, definitely quantitative aspects had a upper hand on them. So my strengths were being more on the engineering side. So that was one of the points which led me choose this particular course. And then we come to opportunities and threats also. So we know that, uh, that AI, machine learning, deep learning, all these are developing sectors. And like, they are in use in current times at a very high scale and uh, they are having many uh, number of hyping jobs as well. So definitely I thought that uh, jumping into this field and that too with my interest of uh, all these quantitative aspects and uh, engineering will definitely help me grow. So geoinformatics provided me that sector in which all these uh, subsets could be collided and I could lie in that interaction zone. So 
uh, that's why I chose uh, geoinformatics out of all the courses. Okay, so there's a lot of technical aspect that went into in shortlisting the course as well as I can see. So that's good to know the thought process. This really would be helpful for our, for our future students also who are planning or thinking to select this particular course. Right. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, the next point would be on the admission process. So can you briefly tell me the admission process for geoinformatics at IIT Bombay? So uh, when I took the admission to IIT Bombay, it was the, during the COVID phase. So the admission was purely on the basis of the gate rank and the gate score that a particular student has achieved. But this year they have uh, started doing the interviews as well. So there were interviews held earlier also, but like this year they have started again after the COVID phase. And uh, generally what I have heard about the interviews, so interviews would be a uh, short 15 to 20 minutes interaction with, def uh, with the professors. And generally the professors would be our uh, HO HOD, uh, Professor Alok Korval sir, and uh, one more professor out of all the esteemed professors in our uh, department. And uh, they usually ask very basic questions related to do you know what GPS is? Do you know what GIS is? Can you name some satellites? Do you know what resolution in a satellite is? So that they just, they just want to know that whether the particular student even knows uh, what geoinformatics is or he is just jumping into the ground. So just knowing the basics or just knowing what is satellite or how does it work will suffice it. They just want to know that. And they might also ask you about the thesis work that you have done in your bachelor's because they want to know that how uh, involved were you in your research during your bachelor's time. So if you are able to explain them your thesis work and they can see that you have that research potential in you, they will definitely take you. And uh, uh, one more aspect that I want to add is like uh, a certain marks would be allotted to every student on the basis of the interview. So the weightage given is like 30% weightage is given to interview and 70% weightage is given to gate school. So if you have a good gate score, definitely you have a higher chance of getting into uh, okay, so that's nice. Uh, as far as so you were talking so during this brief interaction till now, you were uh, speaking about satellites, you were speaking about GPS, you were speaking about machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. So I see there are different uh, inputs which go into this particular course. So I'm a bit curious to know what exactly this course is. What is this geoinformatics? What is the course structure? What is the content? And what essentially is taught in this particular course? Can you briefly give an idea on that? Sure, sir. So geoinformatics is basically an inter interdisciplinary branch. So it has students from computer science as well. It has students from mining as well, from architecture, from uh, agriculture. All the different branches uh, are able to apply in this particular uh, branch. And the best thing about it is like uh, generally the higher anchors are uh, taken in this branch. So the peers that you have in this branch are excellent. So along when I took the admission, there were like two different All India Rank 1 and like three different All India Rank 2 in my same branch only. So like there was like uh, a lot of competition within the branch only. So uh, and the type of course content that is there in uh, CSRE. Uh, includes that there are many subjects like remote sensing, GIS, satellite image processing, and uh, image interpretation. Many theory subjects could also be taught like hydrosphere, atmosphere, and uh, other aspects like GPS, machine learning. Our major focus on, uh, would be on uh, image interpretation and uh, uh, machine learning for remote sensing because they are the hot topics currently. Okay. so. Uh, you were from architecture background, you did your BIAC, if I'm not wrong, from NIT Jaipur, right? Uh, yes. So given that you're from architecture background, uh, were there any challenges you faced during this particular course or it was uh, easy as like any other engineering student? Okay, sir. so uh, I would like to start by thanking the professors. Like, I want to thank you also, sir, because during the preparation of GATE, you made the concept of architecture much easier as compared to what professors in my NIT Jaipur did. <laughs> and uh, like in IIT Bombay, actually the professors are so good, they start with the very basics. They start with explaining what a pixel is. Like, even in the subject of image interpretation, 
they would start with what is a pixel how are the pixel density calculated so they will start with the very basics a b c d of everything and they will take you to the paragraphs and everything so uh, the professors here are uh, helping and they are also willing to teach you in a way that you will be able to learn everything and the aspect that there are students from agriculture mining architecture mecha mechanical physics all different domains are there so the each and every person has his expertise in uh, various fields so the teacher or the professor has to explain in such a way that the student in front uh, will be able to understand regardless of whatever domain he is from so uh, the professors here uh, teach in excellent way like uh, especially uh, our senior professors like professor bk mohan and uh, professor biplab banerjee are excellent in teaching their concepts okay so given that it is an interdisciplinary course the faculty over there they take it in a way that everyone is catered in that lecture uh, so that's nice to know uh, so uh, can you tell me shubham briefly about your thesis so that students get to know the area of research which goes into in this particular course so so my thesis basically deals with the geospatial mapping of the urban heat islands like we have studied about the urban heat islands in the concepts of architecture and planning so my main focus was to amalgamate my uh, bachelor's work along with my uh, master, master's thesis work so i have been uh, working upon uh, the mapping of uhi and its relation with the various parameters like how the increasing urbanization and the difference in the uh, lulc the albedo value population land surface temperature ndvi values how all these small factors are actually changing the uhi values and how while developing the cities in the future these particular variations could help the planners in uh, planning for the particular city okay so that's a nice area of research sounds interesting uh so can you uh, also tell the free about the future scope of this particular source from because you've seen your seniors you've seen uh, you've got to probably know from your from the past alumni of this particular course and you also have seen your batch because the placement process also i think is completed and most of your batch is already placed so uh, can you briefly talk about the future scope what is the scope of this particular course in private sector in government sector and what is the scope for further research like phd in this particular area uh so being a part of gnr uh, or a csre branch is extremely uh, uh beneficial to the students reason being because we are taught subjects like machine learning deep learning which are currently the hot topics in the market and all the big companies be it all the fang companies or uh, other big companies in the engineering domain are in demands of data scientists data analysts and uh all these uh, jobs in this domain so definitely in private sector there are numerous jobs and uh, the past records also shows that there has been 100% placement in csre since continuously since past 5 years and all our seniors have been placed in big companies be it mercedes or uh mercedes cismex or uh, capgemini or apple also so there are many seniors which are uh the one thing which we have to keep in mind is it doesn't depends upon which background you are coming from there have been seniors who are from mechanical domain uh, in background and they have been placed in app companies like apple which we think that will only take cs students or something so it's all depends upon the skills you have rather than the background that you have if you have the skill that you learn the particular uh skill they will definitely take you and uh, the thing about being a government uh, being taking a government job is also there because isro takes out vacancies in the domain of geoinformatics and especially for the students who have done br plus geoinformatics every year so they uh, like they take students with civil or uh, bachelor of architecture in their ba uh, bachelor's domain and uh, geoinformatics in their master's domain so if a particular student has this uh, educational qualification he could sit in the isro exam and particularly apply for the isro seat and uh, the research phd domain is also there many of my batchmates about two or three of them are converting their mtech into phd and uh, definitely some of my uh, uh, colleagues who are the phd people here 
are going for postdoc in germany and us so it's good to see uh, many of my colleagues going and uh, excelling in their field okay so that's a good overview as to the scope of this particular course uh, so we are almost towards the end of this discussion uh, it was really informative till now so just to conclude i would want you to tell in simple words what is it that uh, a person should have to select this course or if someone is still confused should i do this course or not what is the required skill set the person should uh, have or should uh, or the property he should possess to select this particular course can you give me a brief idea on that okay so the particular skill or the particular property that a particular student should have while opting for gnr should be willing to learn new things it should not be like uh, after getting a gate rank or after getting a good score uh, you should be just satisfied with that you should be having that eagerness or that willingness to learn something new and to uh, be to have that uh, thing in you that you want to do something or you want to have that research aspect in you and uh, uh, people should generally think while selecting the course what type of life do they want for uh, them in the future for example if they think for opting for government jobs then i think that doing a m plan after br would be a better option reasoning because there are large number of vacancies that come in m plan uh of uh, with, uh with respect to government jobs but if they are opting for private jobs and if they are looking for a well paying job uh, in today's scenario then generally uh, doing a master in geoinformatics or mdes would be a good option because they are generally uh, high paying options and that are related to the uh, current world of uh, computer science and tech and uh, research and uh, uh, phd life is also a very interesting reason being because we are seeing uh, many of our seniors uh, doing phd and doing post doc to become professors in the best universities in the india and outside india as well so students should think about what type of life do they uh, want from themselves 5 uh, years from now or 10 years from now and then select the particular course that's a good insight shubham uh, thank you for clearing out all these points this will for sure be very useful for our future aspirants to make a wise well informed decision before selecting any particular course so i would towards the end again like to congratulate you in getting placed into sysmex with a wonderful uh, pay and i would wish you all success in future and i would wish that you grow much uh so the way your trajectory has been i sincerely hope and wish the same trajectory grows on for the next couple of decades in your life uh all the best for your future shubham thank you sir it has been always a pleasure learning from you and i hope that uh kp get classes continue to grow and have many more future anchors in future thank you thanks a lot shubham